Let us now go ahead and create our first flowchart. Here I'll also explain you the different interfaces and how to create the flowchart using this software. So here I go to File, New. Among the various options, I'm going to create the new diagram and followed by the flowchart. And I give the name as flowchart demo one and click OK. Now this is going to create a default flowchart. Let me go ahead and delete this. Now these are the various symbols which you can use in your flowchart. Although there is a separate section which details the various symbols, I usually prefer this simple section because it contains all the frequently used symbols at one place. To begin with, you can drag and drop the vowel symbol. So you can drag the element from the left pane to the canvas. Once you drop, then the symbol comes over here. And then you can see a four arrows behind these symbols, up, down, left, and right. This immensely helps us in making the flowchart create at a faster rate. So why this is used is, so next day I will drag and drop the next step. Once you hover on this, if you drag and drop on this arrow, then it's going to create that next step and a series of arrows. This way you can add the symbol from the pane to the canvas as well as add the arrow at the same time. This is going to save you some time. If you don't use this arrow symbol, then if you just drop, then it's not going to create the arrow. So either you can create these arrow symbols or even the more simpler approach is, again if you hover, you can see these arrows. If you click on it, it's going to add these arrows. So these are some of the shortcuts created by this software. In case you want to delete any of these symbols, select the symbol and press the delete button. It's going to get removed. You can add any other symbols at that place. For our first flowchart, we will take a very simple problem statement and create a flowchart for that. The problem statement being, read a number from the input and check whether it's an odd number or an even number. It's very simple because once you read the number, you have to use the modulo symbol to know what is the remainder. If it is zero, it's an even, otherwise it's an odd. So it's a simple statement. So let's go ahead and create a flowchart for that. Let me clear up the canvas. And to begin, we have to use the start symbol. So create here and let me type start. And then the next step is to create a process. So I can go over here and then drop it over here. So here we'll read the number. So this step defines that we need to read the number from the input. So the next step is to drag and drop the decision making symbol so again, I come over here and put it here and we'll check for number modulo two equals zero, question mark. You can expand the symbol in case your text is a bit longer. Okay, so here we read the number and we check number modulo two equals zero. As you can see here, I have not used any operators so far. So let's keep it simple and use the normal words. If the number modulo 2 equals 0, it means that it's an even number. So you can again drag and drop a symbol. As you can see the arrow, I drop here. In case if you want, you can even bring it down. These arrows are going to adjust automatically. So here you can sell. Print the number is even. And you can mention here, double click the arrow, then you can input the text. Now, number modulo 2 equals 0, then it's an even. Similarly, you can drag and drop to the other side to denote it's an odd. Again, you bring it down. Print, the number is odd. Again, you can click on this arrow and type odd. And then once this is done, then we have to finish it with end. Either you can put in or stop. So we use again hover here. We get this little arrow. You can drag and drop to this. Or even you can bring it over here if you prefer. Similarly, you can also drag and drop it over here. So this creates a simple flowchart. To summarize, we created a simple flowchart with starting with the start, 
then we read the number and we check whether the number modulo 2 equals 0 if if it is 0 then it's an even we print the number as even in case if it is not 0 then it's an odd number we print the number as odd in either of these cases the next step is to end so this shows a simple way of using the software to create a flowchart